Hi guys. How's it going? Hi. Pretty good. How are you guys? So what can't you tell us about season three? Almost everything. <laughs> mm. To tell you that uh, that um, the preview that we showed yesterday shows a lot, but the preview that we're showing tonight is about 15 seconds longer and it shows more. Challenge. Like, uh, Oliver's, uh, Oliver's uh, life right now is balancing the hero and the normal life that he will That's right. Nice earrings, by the way. Thank you. It's picked up especially for you. Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, what are we going to see? What kind of changes are we going to see between, you know... We find a happy Oliver in the, in the premiere. A happy smile. Do you see me smile in the preview for season three? I was like, what's that? Uh... And it's weird, too, because our director for the episode, we don't really know how Oliver smiles, per se. So he was like, uh, give me a smile. Uh, give me a bigger smile. Too big. Give me less. And um, we find a happy Oliver. But, um, you know, all of that comes at a price. And, you know, his attempt to uh, instill some normalcy in his life doesn't go well and in our premiere Oliver this will make sense when you see it he literally sees a vision of himself that scares the shit out of him and that colors the entire season so mysterious <laughs> um, let's talk about fighting okay you remember last year when they were like it, it described the season premiere in one word and I go trees and everyone was like and then you see the season premiere and I'm in a 60 foot tree okay anyway it will make more sense in October I promise so um, I, I actually do want to talk about your fighting a little bit um, the uh, last uh, finale basically the choreography between the past and the present yeah it was so awesome that was really like, cool you and uh, you know uh, Slade obviously the character so it was just amazing so are we going to see a little bit of that um, that was a that was a I would say that the the direct intercutting of past and present that was a special thing because I mean we, we took 23 episodes to build and in the case of Slade and Oliver more than 23 episodes to build to this to this giant conflict um, so I don't, I don't I don't know that we'll see that type of technique used but it was certainly cool I mean uh, look, I, when, the moment that I stop being a fan of our show is the moment that I'm going to have to stop doing our show because, you know, if I'm not seeing an episode and going, fucking awesome, then then I'm doing the wrong job. That's awesome. Thank you. Tease about the personal relationship. This kind of goes back to the, the earlier question about the personal relationship between Oliver and the people that he cares about. Yeah, I mean... It, we, f we find a, a change dynamic with Oliver and Roy, very a good spot. We find Oliver and Diggle in a, in, a, in a spot of conflict because of how much Oliver cares about Diggle. Um, some big Oliver Felicity stuff. We find Oliver and Laurel in an incredibly good place. There's a great line in the pilot where she says, you catch him, I cook him. It's a really cool, it's a, it's a really cool dynamic that they have. Um, so you know, like, Arrow and Lance are in a good spot. Everyone's in a good spot. You, you catch my cooking with that, you find the bad guys get out of the way, is that? That would be a, that would be a good deduction from that sentence, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and big things, I'm going to just back up, big things with Felicity, is there anything you can elaborate on that? The only way that I can elaborate is to say that Oliver has one woman in his life this year, in this season, and that is Felicity. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're together, but um, all of the, all of the, you know, was he misleading her, was it a misdirection, was it a ploy, was it a play, well, all of that stuff that we left with in the finale, we resolve in the premiere. Fully, absolutely, you get an, you get an abundantly clear picture of how they both feel about one another. That doesn't mean that they're going to be together, though. So the premiere seems to tie up loose ends of the yeah, finale, yeah, yeah. and then it sets you know, the we, pace we didn't, for... We didn't, leave on a, we didn't leave on a huge cliffhanger like we left in season one, but we certainly left a couple of loose ends, and we tie them up. 
Yeah, and, and then and then introduce a whole new set of right, problems. Right. <laughs> Ian and Oliver's relationship is there going to be you know, more closeness, or because Merlin is in the picture, they're just going to be. Um, well, it's certainly more. it's certainly going to be different. And I'm excited for that. I'm so fired up for Willa Holland. Uh, she's such a wonderful actor, and she's getting the car keys this year and taking the show for a spin a little bit, and as she should. Um, Emily's getting that opportunity, too, with, it, with an episode. And you know, we saw what a wonderful job uh, Katie Lotz and Katie Cassidy and David Ramsey did last year when they had their sort of centric episodes. It's always, a, it's always such a joy for me, aside from the fact that I get a couple of days off, I, I'm so proud of our past, and you know I feel like I mean, most of them are older than me, but I feel like like the proud dad, you know, when they get a when they when they get their episode. So I'm I'm excited for it. But the yeah. Your reps to make sure it's fully recorded the next week. One more. And at your at the first first year you guys you were here, you told a little story about walking around the con and admiring people as the arrow bag that's people right. were looking at you like that's right. you're some weirdo or something like that I was wondering how has that changed with the success of the show fundamentally yeah <laughs> it's, it's totally different um, the coolest thing last night was being at the WB party because it's at the same spot every year and so <laughs> David, David put more into it <laughs> um, it was really cool last night being at the WB party because there are five DC properties on television now, and I feel like we are a big part of the reason why there are five DC properties on TV now. So it was just really cool. It was just really rewarding, and uh, signed a lot of bags this year. No problem people recognizing me. Any piggyback rides? No piggyback rides yet, but I, I did have a, I had a nice, I piggybacked Willow last night, there's probably photos, but I did, uh, I, um, someone on my Facebook page wrote, her husband was, is deploying next Friday, and I'm like, he's like, I'm going to be dressed, I'm going to be dressed as Canary, he's going to be dressed as Arrow, and I, and I, I did run into them today at our booth, so that was cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, really cool. Great. Thank you.